am Billionaire Charlie, man. And I'm back at it again, once again, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me. Nah, man, I'm glad y'all came in and tuned into your boy, man. And I just keep it 100, man. I keep it real with everything I talk about, you know what I mean? Hit that like, hit that share button for me, man. Hit that subscribe button for me. I would love, I just want to say this, though. Thanks to everybody that already subscribed to me. Everybody that donated to the cash shop, man. Whatever donation you would like to put in the cash shop is appreciated, man. I love all y'all that's been giving donations and that's been supporting your boy. You feel what I'm saying? Keep supporting me. Keep showing me love. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to know, man. Give me y'all true opinion about each con each topic that I talk about each and every day, man. Just give me y'all real opinion on the bottom, man, in the comments. You feel what I'm saying? But let's get right into this situation, man. Kane Ernie, Jordan Tao. Now, these are some great, great, great uh, bloggers. You know what I mean? Good with it. Uh, I love their channels, basically, man. They're some good, respectable guys. But I see there's a little tension going there, man. Because I keep uh, King Ernie put out a statement about the whole situation about um, Jordan Tower on his platform, speaking on 6 9 and, and Treyway, a.k.a. Shotty. You know what I mean? Speaking on him and saying, like, he believed that 6 9 the only one snitching. And maybe he could be Shotty. My whole thing with the King Ernie thing, man, I agree with what he's saying, but like I say, I, I agree with both of them in the sense of, like, it may not be shoddy the one, it's the, another person that's been telling, but it's probably definitely another person within the nine trade organization or the tradeway organization that was snitching or somebody was telling other than six nine for them to even get to the point where they had to go getting all these racketeering charges and things of that nature. I believe it was somebody else. It could have not have ever been um, shoddy at all. So we can't say people's names out there and getting them into uh, incidents and activities. And people in jail are very ruthless. So we can't be saying shoddy name in a snitching form when he ain't telling. You got to wait till the paperwork be released, man, on shoddy. Then you can make your comments on it. And I think that's what King Ernie was saying to Jordan Tower. Don't put that man's name out there under anything connecting to snitching. Right now... As of right now, everybody knows that 6 9 is snitching. So that's the person we know is snitching. I don't think, he, what he's saying is, is if you, you shouldn't connect shoddy names to snitching because you don't have no paperwork to back up saying that he's snitching. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, both of them got great channels, King Earn, Jordan Tower. But like I said, he just didn't like that. That's one of the things and different comments he was making about Max B in situations like that. My whole thing with all that, man. Like I say, it's it's I don't believe it's truth and and, and, and the um shoddy thing, but we all know what six nine did. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's all over the internet. It's all the paperwork all out. I mean, they know right now. It, it, it's it's clear as day about six nine, shoddy, and I think a male ma matrix. We don't really have a lot of information on it, man. And the other guy that was in the chief key of information, I, I if I'm not mistaken, I think he was been released, and we don't know the information on him or. Why is he being released? Or what's the situation going on with all of this stuff coming out like this? We don't know, man. Like I say, man, it's a confusion thing because all the paperwork has not been released yet. All the trials ain't have not been done yet. So we just sitting in the clouds right now speculating. But bro just was saying, if you put his name out there in the snitching form, you putting him in harm's way when you should just wait till the paperwork come out. Because we don't know if he's snitching. We don't know if he's doing those things. We only assume it, and we can't assume things that's not real. You feel what I'm saying? Like me, for me, personally, like I said on my last thing when I talked about this 6 9 thing, if you got a person that you paying that's doing media spins and stuff like that, it's easy for you to put Treyway, a.k.a. Shoddy, in the midst of some snitching stuff because you got the bag to keep putting stuff down. I believe the whole time that this situation was going on, it was a trick play to make, try to make Shoddy look like some type of snitch. I think it was all that was all like a spin to put it all on him. Why, like I say, sis nine creep out the back door and he the one telling on everybody. You feel what I'm saying? And then we don't know, we really don't know how far in debt was six nine into this whole situation happening. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, let the paperwork come out and then be a judge when the paperwork come out. My thoughts and my opinions don't matter. It's only about the real. You know what I'm saying? Then we can say something. But other than that, you can't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know if Shotty did this or Shotty did that. Because that's what he basically saying that he's speaking on Shotty's name and putting a lot of thoughts in people's head of him snitching when it could not be him at all. And he could be standing tall like he always been saying. And the same with Mel Matrix. 
for person to be saying their name and putting it in a light of they might be snitching, that is, is harmful to their credibility as a person. And you make people kind of fall away from them because you're putting them in the same light as the 6 9 I say let the paperwork surface, and then if it surfaced that they are snitching, then you could say that. But if you get their paperwork and they have no snitching or nothing on their thing, and you've been saying making these comments, it's like, bro, like then, then, then it's then it's starting to look like some type of uh, it, it's looking different now. You know what I'm saying? It's looking like some type of racial thing there. To me, that look like a racial thing if a person keep putting something on somebody's name, even after the paperwork has been shown. So it's like that's why I say it's a, it's a deadly game when you play with that. When I see a person doing that, you know what I'm saying? It look kind of racial. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many times a person work with somebody black, that don't mean nothing. It still can be racist. That's why I say, I say watch those comments because those comments, us as people gonna look at it as crazy, especially if you ain't got the paperwork showing the facts. You know what I mean? Honor up. You know what I'm saying? Honor up. That's all I'm saying. Show that paperwork. Honor up. Straight up, man. Ain't no, ain't no other questions, ain't no nothing else other than that. Honor up. Show that paperwork, man. After that, we could talk. But other than that, I just feel like that's I like Jordan Tower uh videos. I like his content. I like all that. Just he just gotta stop speaking on shot and on if you don't got that paperwork. And that's all that uh King Ernie was saying about that. They want no too touchy, not too crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's that, man. You can't speak on people like that if you don't got that paperwork. Max B, anybody that's going through situations like that. You gotta have that paperwork, man, before you make a comment like that snitching stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's a very deadly game to be playing with people for real and situations, man. For real. That's my thoughts on that, man. I love all y'all out there. Y'all tune into being there, Charlie, man. I love I got love for Jordan Tower, got love for King Ernie. Got love for all them great people out there that's doing their thing, man. I'm just saying, like, that's all I'm saying about that situation, man. That's my thoughts on it, man. They two good brothers though, man. Much respect to them. Alright. Man, y'all know what I always say, man. Put God for his family and finances, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Respect y'all all out there, man. And another thing, man, I wanted to touch up on, not not even, because this kind of bothered me a little bit, too. Me being the hell real fan, I know he got banked or whatever at the Chinese restaurant, whatever the case may be. I didn't like the way Jordan Tower handled that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if he was your man, I didn't like that. I mean, I like hell real. I'm a big fan of hell real. I didn't really like that too much, man. I really thought that was a real disrespectful thing, man, for the way the way the way he put it out like that, like it's spooky and all that. Like I didn't like that, man. I think like I know he brought him on the show and all of that. But I just the comments that was made kind of saying low. I mean, I know you're a media person and all that, but comments, I ain't really like that too much, man. And I ain't respect them guys that did that to hell real in any form or fashion. But I knew it was something about the money and stuff like that. Like I say, if you if somebody paid you for something and you want to deliver, that'll make anybody upset and ready to do something. Then you make a comments on the internet that'll call the person to do things like that. But like I say, that's I respect Hair Real to the fullest. So it's like when I seen that, I was angry about that. I'm a big Hair Real fan. Love the music for years, man. Dipset, Cameron, all of them, man. So, but yeah, I ain't like that, man. But I, I, I like the fact that he came to the man. He did an interview with the man. He did it all respectfully. Jordan Town, I respect him for that. You know what I mean? I just didn't like the other part with the making fun of hell real and all of that. I ain't, I wasn't really with that. Anyway, man, put God first, family, finances, man. I love all y'all out there, man. Much respect, much love. You did.